Well, if you saw a boat on fire in the Eastport Marina in East Peoria today, don't worry. It's actually part of a maritime responder training for law enforcement officers. Yes, and WMED Shabnam Dinesh was out on the boat today. She shows us why maritime rescue is a useful skill for all law enforcement. Shab. That's right, Rebecca Thomas. It was definitely a one-of-a-kind experience. I boarded a dinghy to get a front row seat. Take a look. It takes somebody that normally works on the street and teaches them how to operate in a maritime environment. Local law enforcement officers are earning their sea legs on the Illinois River. If you have a boating accident, your crime scene is constantly moving. The three-day maritime responder training course teaches them how to conduct rescues on the water. To teach them everything from how to operate the boat, how to do a traffic stop on the water, how to deal with a jumper from the bridge, and process a body, unfortunately, when we do bring it up. You can see behind me here, there is a boat on fire. That is on purpose. You can see some of the trainees are spraying water on it it's as a mock rescue, and they'll also be rescuing two people that have fallen into the water using sonar technology. East Peoria Patrolman Jeff Hinshaw says it's been a great learning experience. He encourages others to take the course. We live on a river. It's a river community. Um, I think it's a fantastic asset to have and, and be able to do. Um, given the amount of boaters and with 4th of July drawing so many people, um, I think every every agency, at least on the river, should should be a part of this and, and, and take advantage of this. Michael Johnson retired last year after serving as the Fond du Lac Chief of Police for 30 years. He started maritime responder training because of the huge need across the state. It's boomed. I'm getting calls from all over the state asking me to come to these jurisdictions and do the training. Our long-term goal is to have agencies all have maritime officers so that when we have a big event on the river, we can pull those guys together together as a team and be able to operate safely. Now Johnson says there are about three to five boating accidents in central Illinois each year, but the majority of calls are for bridge jumpers and body recoveries. Rebecca.